on a distant world at the outermost edges of the furthest fringes of the most isolated stars of the rim. It's a, well, it's pretty far away, actually, if you, if you haven't quite got that part. There is one planet, forgotten and stagnant, where housings have rusted and circuits have blown. A world where antiquity and classics from thousands of years prior have taken center stage. Heroes and myths and legends have returned to smother the cold truths of the galaxy. To the east, the city-states of Athens and Sparta, traders and warriors and connoisseurs of the finer parts of life. To the south, the Gallic tribes who will fight tooth and nail to maintain their way of life. And in the frozen north, the Germanic cannibals, who will also fight tooth and nail, and then eat tooth and nail and hand and arms. And in the far west, a new nation has risen from the ocean itself, claiming to have sailed from beyond the edges of the earth. They call themselves Carthage, and have laid claim to the entire continent, making enemies of city and tribe alike. But our story takes place far away from invaders and traders. Atop Mons Palatinus, two twins, abandoned to the wilds at birth, have taken it upon themselves, either through destiny or pure coincidence, to found a new city. A city that will unify the continent and stand the test of time like no other. Friends and other Rim Rims, I have a terrible secret going into this campaign. I'm a fraud, or at least I feel like a fraud, playing this here mod pack, which was not designed by my own fair hand for almost the first time ever in any RimWorld series. We are playing a mod pack designed by someone else, and that person is Falcon Alaris. And the reason this mod pack makes me feel insufficient in ways that only Elise has achieved is because of the incredible amount of time and effort and skill and care that has gone into designing this. I am honored to be presenting to you a mod pack that has been months of work, bespoke code, and more importantly, a transition between version 1.2 and 1.3. Welcome to RimWorld Rise of Rome, made possible by the beginnings, the founding of Rome mod pack by Falcon Alaris. We're gonna make wine with Ancient Rim, and then we're gonna have a thousand babies with the generation mechanics making a return from the Ohm series. And after that's all said and done, we're gonna destroy Carthage with Rim War as our victory condition. But I didn't just want to be my regular Parasite Smooth Brain YouTuber self. I felt like I wanted to contribute something to this experience. So I would like to present to you all something I've never done before in RimWorld. A world first. Well, I mean, someone else has done it. What I mean is literally a world first. As in, I have built us a world for the first time. Every settlement hand placed, every name handcrafted, every label meticulously placed on this map by my own fair hands. I think I already said that. To add to the theme of this masterwork mod pack, I've tried to create a world that has some real world analogs that fit the overall design of it. Over towards the east, we have our good friends in Athens with their three city-states taking names from the real world. Next to Athens, we have Sparta. And however you say Sparta in Greek. In the coldest northern reaches of the map, Germania. And the Istvaeones. Istav... Istavia. I make this really hard on myself unnecessarily, haven't I? They're good friends, the Arminiones and the Ingavanes. I speak that one. And to the south, Gaul, which historically wasn't south of Rome, I'm well aware. Modders, if you're listening, I would love a mod that lets me fully design a world map. There's only, unfortunately, so much you can do. And our rival, and of course, victory condition. When we have defeated them, we win, and that is Carthage. Along with some various geographic things, like the Alps and the, and the River Tiber and the Palatinus. Oh, no, no. It doesn't stop there, though. I have gone even further beyond. I've gone completely mad. I have lovingly handcrafted every single one of these backwards, antiquated idiots their own custom thematic ideology. For example, our good friends over in Athens and Sparta have the Hellenic Pantheon, the worship of Zeus, Poseidon, Aphrodite, Athena, or those heathenous Germanic savages with their worship of Woden, Thunor, and Baldras, and some Celtic pantheons for the Gauls that I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of for fear of breaching the Good Friday Agreement. And of course, I didn't just want to make them Carthage in name alone. I've also given them the Punic 
religion. Look at the accuracy. Look at it, right down to the ancient Punic religious terms. Boy, that is a lot to take in. And so that you don't have to worry about everything that's going on right now, and also so that I don't overload my smooth YouTuber brain, I think the mechanics such as politics, hospitality, learning for the first time ever how ancient room works, why don't we just... Hear me out here. Why don't we just play the game? Why don't we come across that as it becomes relevant? Now, before we begin turning our feral wolf boys into the peak of Western civilization, we should probably take a look and see exactly what it is we're dealing with. Now, I am going with the mythological Romulus and Remus raised by wolves. So both of them are wolf pack members. And of course, they are twins. Now, Remus is the more handy of the twins. He has a high construction, cooking, plants, crafting, and is also industrious and iron-willed. Romulus's strength, by comparison, lies in his leadership. He is an incredible fighter, and he is very, very good at social. And though he isn't a fast worker like Remus, he is desensitized and tough. He is someone you can rely on, and someone for a great foundation for a city to be built on. Hopefully not literally, because he is still just flesh and bone. And because they're both only 16, they are still growing here. But that is it. There is nothing special. There is no great twist. I think the greatest stories begin with the humblest beginnings. Which is weird, because that hasn't happened in literally any of the series. Oh, and before I forget, our ideology is one that was designed by Falcon Alaris. The Cult of Sol Invictus. We're going pre-Greco-Roman pantheon straight to worshipping the sun. And... You know, I think of all the things, that's, that's a fairly worthy thing to worship. Because without the sun, how could we possibly get hammered on wine? What a plot twist that would be if we didn't actually bother going to war with Carthage and we just started a vineyard. Well, I suppose a shed wouldn't hurt. You have no usable materials. I have played this game before, I promise. <laughs> what am I looking at right now? This is the regular jobs mod that I use. There's so much to do. Oh, good lord. I mean, oh... The sun? <laughs> I guess you'd probably shout the moon, right? Well, in the architect menu, everything looks fairly similar. Bunch of new furniture. Oh, what is this? Scavenging spot. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Oh, wow. I'm going to put one of those right there. We have quarries and tanning vats. Primitive crushing spot. I assume that is for rocks and not our enemies. Although, maybe both. A designated spot with a club to crush grains into flour. Oh. And what rhymes with flour? That's right, power. Or in this case, nothing, because there's nothing there. Although I am acutely aware that flour does not rhyme with nothing. We don't have any beds either. So we are going to have to go and club an animal. What have we got on the map that drops leather? Uh, I guess we'll kill a deer. It's either that or a wild boar, and I don't fancy our chances. Palisades and cavalry spikes. Okay, that's good to see. Got all of our ideology stuff, which won't really become relevant until we get a third colonist. Gibbet structures. Or gibbet structures. I don't remember how to pronounce it now. Oh, it lets you display corpses. Oh, that's nice. Gibbet tree. We put them up in a tree. You've won me over already. Floors seem fairly standard. Recreation, we could play a game of earth. <laughs> the most important furniture of all. A bath mat. Natural paths. Oh, that's nice. Okay, a little bit of decoration there. And then planning. I've never planned anything in my life. I don't intend on starting now. Wooden dirt storage pit. Ah, finally somewhere to put the Discord. Wow, it really is just a hole in the dirt, huh? <laughs> Bloody hell, is it darker than usual or is it just me? A lot of people forget that night times were darker in ancient Rome. They hadn't invented street lamps yet. Ah, oh, would you look at that? It's almost time for the rebirth of the sun. I've never heard of that before. I just generally call it the morning. Oh, my brain completely blanked this out the first time. We've got Dub's bad hygiene. Although, I guess it makes perfect sense. I mean, say what you like about the Romans, they did love an aqueduct. Although, I'm not sure that that was bad hygiene ads. Aqueducts, it's generally just sewage everywhere. There has to be grapes here somewhere. It's been five minutes and we haven't had a single bottle of wine. No. There's five different types of grass and not a single grape? Granny Smith apple tree? Fine, we'll grow that one thing Rome is famous for. <laughs> Rice plants. <laughs> You know, I'm feeling a little bit blue. I certainly wish I knew why I felt a little bit blue. It's very... Is it the weather? It's windy. Oh, and now it's... Now it's good. First question. What does the scavenging spot actually do? Cannot prioritize. Not assigned to scavenging. Okay. Uh... Ah, oh, there it is. Hopefully this will clear it up. Sir, so I can't help but notice that's just the word scavenging five times over. I mean, I know what it means. I just was more curious about how it works. Here. 
So they scavenge and then they... What are you doing over there? What are you doing behind that tree? Oh. Grubs times five. Oh, what? Oh, it lets you find natural resources out in the wild without there being a need for something there. I get it now. The scavenging mod lets you scavenge. Could have possibly guessed that. Hungry rats have found rotting wolf meat 24. Hey, bloody hell, there's rats everywhere all of a sudden. So Romulus and Remus start with some wolf meat, which is very macabre when you consider the implications. Oh my god, even more rats. Wait, they keep spawning in? <gasps> there's 10 rats now. Hang on. You're telling me I can't just leave food in stacks in a field. Oh, look. Hostile force spotted. A hostile scouting party of Germanic cannibals with 52 combat powers marching towards Roma. Estimated time to destination, two days. If we open up the world map. Oh, wow. Look at all the things that are happening out here. Wow. Okay. Athens is trading. Sparta is also trading. The Germanic cannibals are trading between themselves. There is the hostile party coming towards us. And do my eyes deceive me or a Carthage... Carthage are settling not just one new base, but two? Well, talk about piling the pressure on. Our boys have been out here digging up worms. Apparently, Carthage is building a whole new empire. Oh, no. Germanic cannibals. Who could have possibly seen this coming? Well, not me, because he's hiding behind a tree. We are... We don't have any weapons. Well, we do have a log. I suppose we'll... <laughs> I suppose we'll go with that. Just gonna frantically cut down this tree so we can beat this man to death with something. Oh, she's got a ranged weapon? Well, that's hardly fair. I suppose the log could be a ranged weapon too, depending on how hard you throw it. Please be careful. Oh, this is a nail biter. Two versus one. Long hard wood versus one. Oh, I'm gonna stop that right there. <laughs> oh dear. It turns out she died. Ah, oh, but look at this though. Nice. Shards of metal that we can throw at our enemies. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you. Hang on a minute. She also beat us with wood? Oh, Romulus. Really? And what does this mean here? Bandaged. Quality zero. Oh, those are quality icons then? Hostile scouting party of Carthage this time? All I want to do is grow a grape. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling massively optimistic. Oh, the rats found my grasshoppers. Well, now what am I supposed to crunch on? Hungry rats have found my lichen as well? Oh boy, this is, <laughs> oh, this is out of hand already. I went to war with Carthage and I should have gone to war with the rats. But we could straight it from Sparta. Spartans, you gotta help me. Oh, and look, here they are. Wow, so majestic. The famous llama-backed army of Sparta. <laughs> oh, not another one. Hostile scouting party of the Germanic cannibals. Well, here comes Carthage any second now. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Hello. Oh my god, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe they'll go for the trade caravan instead. Yeah, wow, this really is a bad sign, huh? Dreamt about silly things. No slaves in the colony. Slept on the ground. Slept outside. Get him, Spartans. Help me out here. Maybe just try and knock him down so I can steal his clothes. That'd be quite nice. Or kill him. Kill him instantly. Now that works too. Romulus, you're going to have to learn to share with your brother. Romulus is the better melee fighter, so Remus gets the shards of metal. Oh, come on! Well, I was about to say Romulus gets the well-crafted Carthaginian steel. I'm not entirely sure it'll help out. Don't worry, Sparta's on the case. Hang on, did they send a child? <laughs> they sent a five-year-old. <laughs> now, don't feel bad for her. This is classical antiquity. Tiger's basically middle-aged at this point. Ah, life well lived, bleeding out on the rocks. The trade caravan from Sparta is leaving. Thank you, Spartans. All I want is some grapes. But apparently all Romulus and Remus want is the rebirth of the sun. Ah, such a shame. Unfortunately, we can't have a rebirth of the sun this year because we don't have four wood. The sun's just gonna have to wait till next year. I can't argue with 80% success chance with only two stinky guys in a field. Oh. Look at this. Ah. Oh, paper lanterns. Well, that seems incredibly inappropriate for the morbid theme. Ah. Oh, beautiful rebirth of the sun. You know, I couldn't have said it better myself. Everyone participating in the ritual gets plus six moon for six days. And given that they've both apparently got gut worms, and Romulus recently fell over from alcohol. Wh where did you even get alcohol from? I think we could have done with that ritual going well. Hungry rats have found rotting tiger. Oh my god, we have to worry about the bodies as well? 
This is our, this is a rat apocalypse. And then we also have the opportunity to accept Val as a colonist. Mad scientist, you sound perfect. You are 12. <laughs> 12 year old mad scientist, eh? Psychopath night owl. Val is a goddamn psycho. He likes to sneak around at night and watch people sleep. Well, you'll fit right in. Oh, look at that. We can have ourselves a grand priest now. In that case, why don't we make Romulus the leader? Or not at all. Alecabalus, chosen according to succession law. Oh, no. I have to actually look at politics. You need at least three free adult colonists and a potential leader for politics. We have two teenagers and a 12-year-old. That's, that's not politics. That's a Discord debate server at best. A gift from Athens? Ah. Oh. Greeks from Athens are left a gift. A mega sloth cap, synthread pants, a lead crown. Oh, thank you. And some beads. Uh, great. That's, uh, that's really helpful. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. What an amazing look. I guess Val the Mad Scientist can be put on research. We need 25 iron and 75 wood. I guess we have to make steel with a crafting chain. Well, there might not even be any steel. What on earth are you talking about? A group of Germanic cannibals and a group of Greeks from Sparta have arrived nearby. They're about to fight fiercely, but their target is not you. All right, well, I guess we'll just keep our head down then and let them kill one another. Oh. <laughs> I think it's genuinely two almost naked people. Wow, that is, um... Yeah, that's quite the fight. All right, team, place your bets. Leopard versus Weasel. Write in the comment section now. No, you're not allowed to cheat. This is the worst fight I think I've ever seen. Holy crap, Leopard! What a kill! The Spartans have done it. The Greeks of Sparta are preparing to slaughter the remnants of the tribe's people. They're collecting trophies and have left contentedly left me with more rats i assume well i think despite the constant attack parties this is going fine romulus has an incredible outfit we have a psychopathic 12 year old and a house filled with dirty holes and the best part is we didn't even need rjw to achieve it this time val maybe now's the time now that we have all this lovely furniture now is when we see if we can finally start the vineyards of rome olive trees beer brewing agriculture one None of those are grapes. Olive trees? I mean, olives are just kind of savory grapes, aren't they? And we can make olive oil. Okay, I'm in. Oh, is that a meal I spy? Made entirely out of olives. I've never felt more Roman in my life. Hans, I'm trying to eat my olives. Hey, piss off. <laughs> the 12 year old has a knife. Oh, and they're 13. Val, the time has come for you to prove your worth to this colony, my friend. Stab away. This is the remote series I've always wanted. <laughs> Good work, Val. You are more than welcome here, my friend. Okay, I'll be the first person to admit we are off to a little bit of a slow start. But it is also two feral teenagers in a field. I wasn't expecting a huge amount. And besides, I can't imagine the AI is doing much. <laughs> We're fucking dead. Can I surrender? Reject Rome. Return to wolf people. There's no hope. On the plus side, we've almost got olive oil. Nope, we're not even a fifth of the way there. Carthage, I have so much to do. Nitro. Oh, he's so well armed compared to us. If we only maim him, we could take his shirt. Get him, Romulus. Get him, Romulus. Come on. Oh! They've actually done it. Oh, Steel Lance. Wowee. Do we want to recruit him? Oh, he's really not that bad at all. 12 crafting, double passion. 14 intellectual, double passion? Oh, I wanted to take your shirt, but now... Now I want to take your heart. What's left of your heart, that is. Well, I suppose we can always double up the kitchen to be a prison. <laughs> You've all heard of the legendary Tercel Prison of Rome, though, right? And now all that excitement is out of the way, we should really give ourselves a grand priest. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, Grand Priest of the Cult of Sol Invictus, you will deliver us from the horde of rats, the unstemmable tide of rats. Literally hundreds and hundreds of bloody rats. Well, that solved that problem. What's wrong with you now? Malnourished. All right. 
That's another problem solved. I really am quite good at this game. Look at this. See, malnourished, ready? Boom, he's done it again. Was <laughs> one of his moodlets had a dream about cheese. Oh, that's so good. A wooden styling station is 30 steel. Okay, we'll just build an iron styling station. That's 30 steel and 80 iron. <laughs> How can we possibly cut our hair without unlocking the secrets of high carbon steel? I have, um... I've actually been to Rome a, a couple of times in real life. And i got to tell you right now, it's exactly as I remember it. Turtle prison, the vomit shed, the hordes and... The hordes and hordes of rats. I really do feel like just sitting here looking at this, I'm... I'm in touch with ancient Rome. I'm also in touch with being really bloody sick of these tribes. There's rats in my friggin' fridge! A war merchant from Athens. I'll take everything. Just give me something to kill these damn rats with. I'm sorry, sir, I... Must have misheard you. You want me to do what exactly to these Yorkshire Terriers? Although I will take an exchange for a spear. We also have the quest Warfare for Hire. Your... Your... <laughs> your Remedon Theopompus. Anax of Athens wants you to save one of his caravans. The caravan has been hunted near Roma by three groups of Greeks from Carthage. Theopompus wants you to signal the Greeks to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. The first group is composed of a Macedonian swordsman and a senator. <laughs> I suppose we'll take the gold in that situation. Sure. Oh god, the Yorkshire Terriers are here. And Romulus has been caught with his pants down. Well, it's been a great run, but I think this might just about be the end. Oh, what a kill. Romulus, you're so brave. Now we have a masterwork spear, we can kill Yorkshire Terriers ten times faster. <laughs> well, we can't use it because it's an unknown technology. You ever had a pointy stick that's just a little bit too pointy? Ah, this will be our senator then. But they almost certainly weren't banking on us having the Great Wall of Rome. I mean, okay, it is just a bunch of sharp sticks, but it's a lot of sharp sticks. We've got an entire river. We've got all the walls covered. I feel a lot safer already. Let's see those goddamn rats get to our food now. Don't tell them I said that. Please, God. 32! I wonder if there's a limit on how many rats can spawn in or whether or not they would just keep appearing until the game breaks. We're up to 40. Oh! The second raid's here before we've even fought the first one. And, uh, each one comes with a senator. Oh, and by the way, more rats. Yep, 51, in fact. Oh! Wait, Palisades what, like embrasures? Oh, well, that's incredible. Get in there. Stab that senator. Aardvark together strong. I'm not even sure I know what that means. Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that there? Are you okay? How the hell did he deal 20 bruises in the course of about two seconds? Oh, this is a dis- Oh, Val! The redemption arc? No, this- This was a poor idea. Oh, good luck, little Val. Good luck, little Val. You can do it. Remus is only bruised, so Remus might get up any second now. <gasps> what a- what a play. We have another senator hanging around our base. Fleeb, Flabber has burned down our wall. Eurybiades Eur Eur the first? Okay, good luck with that one, I suppose. Valet is all down to you, my friend. This is why I hate Carthage. Roman Empire is not a real faction. <laughs> it's, uh... Well, thunder. Thunder, you've got to help. They're kidnapping Romulus. They're kidnapping Romulus, Thunder. They can't kidnap friggin' Romulus. Val is gone. Thunder, where are you? Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, this is cursed. Okay, 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 you're fine. Get Remus rescued. I look at all the fucking rats. That was, that was way too much. I bit off far too much there for, for seemingly no benefit. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Romulus is gone. We can't call this bloody place Rome when Romulus isn't here. We're going to have to call it... We're going to have to call it Reem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Your faction is now known as the Reman Empire. That sounds fine. This community is known as Reem. This is alternate history. It is supposed to be a futuristic take on a classic story. And who has a better story than King Remus the Broken? I didn't even have a look at Thunder. Thunder, what are you? Steve. <laughs> the great founder of Reem. 
Remus and Steve. The creepy breathing, careful shooter, eccentric Steve. Steve, whose ideology is the Celtic pantheon. Oh, you fool. You assumed it was Romulus and Remus, but it was in fact Steve and Remus. Can we have a an ancient empire founded by Steve? I'm not sure I'm alright with this. I mean, that is an incredible story, though. Romulus is captured by Carthage. Now we have a real reason to hate them, other than just being foreign invaders. They've stolen the founder of our city and the twin brother of our other founder. I like that Carthage is our rival now, not because history says they should be, but because they've made themselves our rival. There has to be a way to stop these rats. There has to be. We have yet another hostile force coming in from Carthage, but our good friends over in Athens are here to help us out. Please, Athens. Please, for the love of God. Good luck, Athens. You can do it. I believe in you. You absolute moron. I can't believe you've done this. Good luck, Thunder. Good luck. You're our last hope here. Otherwise, they're going to walk right into our base and kidnap Remus as well. And then we would have to call the city Steve, and I'm... <laughs> I am not okay with that. What a battle. The tension. It's all on... Fuck. Are you going to send another man in black? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, goodbye, Steve. Thank you. Why are my people so shit? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, go put them with Romulus, see if I care. <gasps> Snacky time. I genuinely thought we were going to lose Remus as well. Oh, don't count your chickens quite yet. 79%, please eat that meal bloody fast. Remus, I don't know that we've got time to eat with a table, friend. Well, he didn't die of starvation, but he started to give up on the cult of Sol and Victor, since to be honest... I, I get it. I really do. In some ways, this was a horrible mismanagement on my part. It wasn't that bad, I will admit. I think it's very rare a situation where you'll jump into a mod pack not knowing any of the mods that are in the mod pack. And it's not as if I didn't build defenses. It just so happens that the AI is very, very aggressive. Like, really, really aggressive. You want to know how aggressive it is? Why don't you just ask those Germanic tribes? All, uh, all one of them remaining. Hungry rats have found rotting rats. Yep, that's what we're up to right now. Now, I'm sure there are many naysayers out there right now wondering how on earth we're going to redeem this. Why not just throw in the towel, reload, give up, go back to a simpler time when it was Romulus and Remus. But this is the hand we've been dealt. And my God, the city of Reem. <laughs> And my god, the city of Reem is gonna flourish. We will rise from the ashes and I will avenge him. Our champion, our hero, and one of the greatest people this colony is ever gonna see, Steve. Oh, and I mean, I guess Romulus as well, if we get a spare five minutes. So the first plan for saving the day as Remus, we're gonna build him a bed. Or at least we're gonna tan some hides and turn it into a bedroll. 7.2 resistance left on Nitro. There is a bonus to unlimited rats and that would be unlimited food <laughs> works like a charm the downside is you do have to keep a stock of rotting rats in your freezer well let's hope these rats don't stop coming anytime soon because winter's here i'm not sure whether i should be ashamed or somewhat pleased that we survived through to winter but you know honestly i don't think this went too badly between the freezer full of rotten rats and the Staggeringly aggressive AI expansion. I think we're on the right path to building Rome. City of light. City of magic. Tomorrow we continue the adventures of Remus. And maybe, just maybe, we can get ourselves some olive oil. But jokes aside, I think this has an incredible amount of potential. I always am a sucker for the more turbulent remorse stories. And I like that we've actually given the... I like that we've given the Rim War story a bit more reason than just we happen to be at war with Carthage. We have a legitimate, actual reason now to be slightly pissed off at them, I think. And this has an incredible foundation to build the story off of. What if Remus was the founder of Rome rather than Romulus? And the truth is, mechanically, I was unprepared, but we have learned some harsh lessons already. We have had far too many high-tech, Arco-related Rim World campaigns, and we've gotten soft. The difficulties of survival and untold numbers of rats have been something we haven't experienced for quite a long time now and we have only scratched the surface with the mechanics i'm i'm very excited to see how the politics mod works and how we can eventually i i, I mean i will try and design it like a 
city from Roman antiquity if we can pull it off. But I think I'll throw in the mod called Progress Renderer, which was a big mistake I made during the Home series by not having that early on. It creates a screenshot of your colony every... Uh, well, depending on how many years you set it up, but every few years so that you can see the natural progression and expansion of your city. And we are expanding out from a single person, so I think this could be... This could be something that would be quite interesting to throw in early on. So I think I'll get that set up ready for tomorrow. And our goal, save Romulus. And if we can get Romulus back and keep Remus as our leader, that would be incredible. So that is our, let's have a short-term vengeance, I think, against Carthage. But again, to reiterate, a huge thank you and all credit goes to Falcon Alaris for this mod pack. I have specifically not looked at the, the mods or the research or anything we have lined up, so... I would go and take a look at it for yourself. Go and dive in because there is so much that we just... We, we haven't seen even the smallest amount of this mod pack yet. And it's not really an era that we explore too often. So this, I think, could be quite unique. Save game and links to everything will be available down below. And a big thank you not only goes out to you at home for watching. Thank you for bearing with this episode. It has been certainly an episode of ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> a thank you as well, of course, goes out, as per usual, to the patrons, without which I would not have time to produce the content and, well, I was going to say build the mod packs, but in this case, again, I am a complete and utter fraud and have outsourced that to, uh, well, actually, one of the patrons, which is a very backward system. Thank you to Sir Wigglesworth. German Hammer, Brambio, Blunk, Nick Danger 13 My Name Isn't Dio, Chris Schenk, Fairy Wiz, Andronius, Sweetsy, Gibbering Mound, Smooth Octopus, Mr. Chicote, Mega Oscar Pone, Blood Snakes Chaos, Shadow 1317, and Night Rouge for their support, the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you guys all for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to uh, Plation, Sharp, GV, Bobo Bo, 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 Sinker, Kragon, Snowlauger, Edzuki, Plasma, Skunkalope, Canopus, Luden, Captain Cuba, Shorter123, Erotha, and Typhon198. 